Hello everybody and thanks for joining me today. So what are we doing today? Well, I'm going to teach you how to add perspective to text. So um, let's get cracking. Let's go into title text here and then create something. I'm just going to type in hello. There you go. Nothing fancy. I'll go right back to the start. So Now, in order to create perspective, we must first get our text ready. So make sure, however you want your text, uh, do it all now, because I'm going to show you what we need to do later. So let's say you want to add an outer stroke. Uh, let's just add some yellow to that. Yeah, that looks all right. a little bit transparent. Okay, so I'm going to get my text ready. So there it is. Now, obviously, you can change the size by, you know, pulling the nodes here and so forth, but uh, we can't make a perspective. So how do we do that? Well, very simple. First off, I would advise to make your text uh, as large as possible in case you need to resize it later. All right. And then uh, obviously drag your text right to the start. Now, here it gets a little bit tricky. What we need to do, we need to change this into uh, a video file in order for this to work. But to do that, uh, once it is a video file, if we want to extend the length of the file, like the duration, we can only do that by 10%. So um, what you'll need to do, let's say, for instance, you want to make something roughly uh, 50 seconds long. You'll need to make this roughly 5 seconds. So I'm going to pull it right up to 5 seconds. Uh, that'll do close enough. So five seconds because uh, you're going to get 30 frames per second. So realistically, you multiply that by five times 30, you get 150. You can only increase the duration by a further 10%. So then you multiply that by 10, which gives you 1,500. Then, because it's a frame rate, you need to divide that again by 30 because it's 30 frames per second, which then gives you 50 there's your 50 seconds okay so you need to work out how long you wish your text to remain on your footage so let's work with uh, a 50 second footage so I'm quite happy with that so then we're going to create a video file mpg uh, I'm just going to type in you know hello whatever and then obviously it's going to render and it's just like anything the longer your footage the longer it will take to render so and most times when you use text, it's not going to remain for very long, so it's okay. And there you go. Here's my new text. Now, I don't require the old text because I have my new text, right? So I'm going to drag that into my overlay track. Now, because it's now a footage and no longer just text, I now have the perspective notes. So that means I can then change the perspective of my footage. And there you go. It really is that simple. So that, that looks all right. Now remember I said to you about the duration. Okay, so now if you want to, because right now that's a, a five second clip. So if you have a movie file or whatever it is that you know, it's uh, just under one minute. Very good. So what you do is you hold down your shift key. Now you'll notice that my arrow goes from black to white. Then I can pull this right up. Now I can only do this up to 10%. See, 10% which gives me roughly 50 seconds. So now I have 50 seconds of footage. There you go. And I'm not going to make you sit here and watch 50 seconds of footage. So, And really, that's that's it. That's all you need to do. It. And then just, uh, you know, add whatever film clip you want. Uh, I'm going to grab my favorite piece again. I'm going to drop this into another perspective drag this over here and then do something you know neat yeah yeah that looks pretty tacky that looks okay so there you go
Keep that simple. Seems uh, now, just before I go, don't forget now that now that this is a uh, footage file, you can add all your filters to it. So you can do whatever you want with it because it's no longer text. It's. As I hear your voice calling. Yeah, well, hope you learned something today and thanks for watching.